Wintercrest Park in Coon Rapids will see long drives, birdies, and tee pads when a new disc golf course opens to the public. The 21-hole course is far from complete, but crews work to clear fairways and remove brush. Building the course was valuable experience for crew members who say they're happy to put in long hours for a small wage. It's grown immensely in the last 12 years. Behind a sea of spokes and hundreds of handlebars, Jerry Schwinn Cyclery off Coon Rapids Boulevard pedals precise plastic putters and drivers that delay dissension. You have hundreds of discs to choose from, you have different weights of discs, they fly differently. You got to base it upon how you throw, not necessarily how someone else throws. Disc golf, also known as frisbee golf, is a sport that's taken off in Minnesota. The basic rules are similar to regular golf with tee pads instead of tee boxes and a basket replacing a cup. Each player aims to toss their frisbee in the basket using the fewest strokes. Shop owner Jerry Van Deest says he knows why the game has grown. Well, number one, it's, it's relatively cheap. It's very cheap. It's good exercise, it's clean exercise, and if you think it's easy, go try it. it there, there's a lot of talent, there's a lot of skill. Also growing is the anticipation of Coon Rapids opening its first disc golf course, even if the first official round won't be played until next fall. I think it's about time. <laughs> I would like to see a course here, you know, 10 years ago. Well, it's going to get a lot of people out here enjoying something that maybe they've never done before. We'll be putting in tee boxes. Uh, there'll be uh, trash receptacles, park benches. We've been clearing brush, hauling out logs, installed these uh, signs. Some of the crew building the 21-hole course at Wintercrest Park know very little about the game. I just learned about it yesterday, to tell you the truth. <laughs> so I can tell you, because they didn't have it, you know. Never mind playing disc golf. Before this spring, crew member Dennis hadn't been to a park in a long, long time. When was the last time you were outside before you did this program? 87. In 1989, Dennis, whose last name we were asked not to share, was convicted of homicide in northern Minnesota and was sentenced to life in prison. In custody for the past 27 years, he's been through different programs and rehabilitation. On good behavior, he was transferred to a minimum security unit in Lionel Lakes. In three months, the current inmate is set for parole and will be looking for a new job, a new home, and a new life. You locked up for a long time. You're not used to being back out in society. The Institution Community Work Crew is reintroducing Dennis and many others to a life on the other side of the fence. The program allows low-risk minimum security inmates who are nearing their release to spend time beyond bars working on projects outdoors for $1.50 an hour that can go towards restitution fees. A lot of them learn job skills that they've never learned before. Waking up, getting up, showing up for a job every single day, being responsible, it, it's been a good, really good program. It's, it's a good for the inmate because especially if you've done a lot of time, it makes you more relaxed because you're out in the community. They, they like to get out of the prison. It gives them something to do. It makes the time go by so much faster and uh, I haven't had any discipline issues whatsoever. I think this gives you a little, uh, gives you that chance to get used to getting back into what you're going to be doing down the road. A seasonal two-year contract between the Department of Corrections and the city of Coon Rapids is getting grass groomed and producing progress in parks. It's been a boost for our department. Um, they have helped us uh, really catapult uh, doing a lot of projects we have not been able to get to for quite a few years. It's not only helping the city, it's helping the communities because they would have to pay somebody a lot, you know, for a to do that and we're coming out here and doing it. The ICWC program also gives inmates with skills a chance to use them, often for the first time in years. One of my guys uh, was a carpenter his whole life before he went to prison and uh, he's able to repair a lot of the lawnmowers and saws that break down. Getting these guys back out into the community in a controlled setting allows them for a better transition into the community. And it, it, it's a trust factor too, you know, it's not only that, it's, a lot of trust factor, you know, they're putting trust in you that you're going to do what you're supposed to be doing. You're going to treat others the way they're supposed to be treated. Yeah, I, I really hope that this program can show them that you can go to work every day and, and be productive and, and, and get your job done. And I, 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 I believe that they can really succeed. I think it's a win-win for everybody. I think it's very valuable. I think it's really more than probably people could realize. And one last benefit, a plan to play when their time is served. Once they are released and once uh, this, program, this course is done, I hope to 
get out here and play. I think it's good because we're doing this frisbee golf thing, you know, and and it's good because now they're getting it done, you know. They got us helping them out, getting it done, you know. So I think it's a big thing, you know. It's it's going to help the community. It's going to give kids something different to do. But I would try it, yeah. Other projects the ICWC works on include construction and demolition, highway cleanup, and building maintenance.